All right, everyone, so I am making this video as it seems to be quite a big fan request that people want to see these two species in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. And these species are none other than Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus. And not just separately, may I add, people want to see them together in a fight. So how is this going to play out? How could this happen? We're going to talk about how this could happen. And I think there's some evidence or basis that this is a possibility. To prove this, first we're going to have to go over how each species will appear individually because obviously neither of those species names have been confirmed. We only have like around seven species confirmed so far. And I think with those species that have been confirmed, we can use a couple of them to get information uh, to elaborate on how these Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus dinosaurs could appear in Chaos Theory. So, who should we start with, I reckon? I think we'll go Spinosaurus first. Let's talk about how Spinosaurus could be appearing in Chaos Theory. So, recently, like as in recently, I mean like a couple of days ago, the actor for Ben Pincus in Camp Cretaceous, you know, Bumby's friend, uh, reposted the Jurassic World Chaos Theory teaser trailer. And the only person who reposted that, like as in the actors that we know are coming, is Darius's actor, Paul Michael Williams. So why would Ben post this if he's not in it, you know? And then not long after, like a couple hours after, he's taken it down. So obviously he's broken his NDA and the people writing this show were like, no, you can't have this trailer up. This is going to spoil th some things. And, you know, for the people who caught on, we've caught on. So we know that Ben is most likely appearing. Why else would you delete it? Am I right? Because if you're not appearing, then you wouldn't take it down. You wouldn't get any trouble. Like, you know, may as well just upload it. But, uh... No, he has gone in trouble. I or probably not trouble. You know, I wouldn't say he's in major trouble. It's just like, no, please do not have this trailer up. Uh, you weren't in the teaser for a specific reason. So maybe you know, either they'll be cameos, or they'll play major roles. And if they're major roles, I can see them going to Manticorp Island if Ben is in it, because you know, Ben is obviously really good friends with Bumpy. So. Ben's going to want to see Bumpy. And the last place we saw Ben was on Manticorp Island. So we know he goes for like summer vacations there. I do feel like Ben could end up going to Manticorp Island. We'll see Bumpy. And we also know Manticorp Island is home to the Spinosaurus. So that's how we can see Spinosaurus. But the thing is, how are we meant to see Giganotosaurus and Spinosaurus on the same screen? If, you know... Uh, Spinosaurus is exclusive to Manticorp Island and Bison don't know where Manticorp Island is. Well, what if I told you Bison do know where Manticorp Island is, right? Hear me out. So, basically, what I'm thinking is, do you remember the microchips that are implanted into the dinosaurs in Dominion to control them? Or at least partially control them. I don't think the control was as strong as it was in Cape Cretaceous, right? But how do you think they got those chips? Because we do know Lewis Dodgson wanted them. He did. He asked uh, Kenji's dad for them. He wanted to control his own dinosaurs. But they were never sent to him because, you know, Kenji's dad went to prison. Everyone else on the island, you know, stuff happened to them. So, yeah, those they couldn't be shipped out. But the thing is, we know that the bison person who was working for them, that girl who went there, was blindfolded and was not allowed to see the island they were going to, or at least they would put a VR headset on so they could be entertained. But, you know, how would they know that they've gone there? I think that there is potential that this person, the woman that went there, I can't remember her name, but it was that bold chick, uh, the one that got eaten by the compies. But... I think there might have been some sort of tracker implant in her for Lewis Dodgson to keep an eye on. And this means we could see Bison end up raiding 
Manticorp Island, which, you know, it's going to be a massive shame because Bumpy lives there. All the, you know, beautiful creatures live there, like Firecracker, the Brachiosaurus, uh, the big E.T., little E.T. T-Rexes, you know. I, w I wouldn't call Spinoceratops as beautiful. They're kind of weird, but at the same time, they are cute. So, I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like them and like them at the same time. We'll have to wait and see what they look like as adults. We already do know partially what they look like as adults from Jurassic World Live. We saw their adult model. But, you know, who is going to be captured by bison if they go there? Or are bison going to go there purely for the microchips? You know, are they going to ignore the dinosaurs? Or will they take a few? For example, I could see them easily taking the Spisaurus, some of the T-Rexes, you know, the high-value dinosaurs, basically, just to promote their uh, work in bison. You know, I'm sure lots of people would pay to see T-Rexes, although... We do know at Bison, it wasn't really an attraction or park of sorts, but more of a research facility. So it's not really for people to come pay see. But you know, if they have Spisaurus, Big E.T., Lil E.T., it's probably going to want more people to check out the place because those are really well-known dinosaurs. You know, people are going to want to see them. So people are going to want to check out the place, fund it maybe even. And yeah, that's why I could see them possibly capturing the T-Rexes and the Spinosaurus. So, you know, Bison could be home to five T-Rexes. Maybe even Junior could be there for all we know. So six T-Rexes. I feel that's a lot of tyrant predators in one place, but who knows, honestly, maybe that's what the deer population was for because there were a lot of deers and, you know, uh, could they really just be feeding the one Giganosaurus? Surely it feeds on other stuff. But uh, we did see Rexy feed on deers and same with Giga, so makes sense. But anyway, that's kind of how Spisaurus can go to Biosyn Valley. But there's no confirmation of Biosyn Valley, or at least you would think. Now, one of the species on the revealed, the leaked species list, or kind of confirmed via the New York Toy Fair, was a Tross Raptor. What movie does that appear in exclusively? Dominion. What movie does Giganotosaurus appear in exclusively? Dominion. Now, I know a lot of people thought the Giganotosaurus in Dominion didn't deserve its death. It wasn't enough of a villain. It was just a natural predator, and people were really disappointed in that. Just the way, you know, it didn't deserve to die. It was just acting on natural instincts. What if they make the Giganotosaurus into a villain? What if, you know, a Trostraptors, because it's presumed Bison made them? What if we see them make Giganotosaurus too? Or something along the lines of it growing up? So I think, you know, Giganotosaurus could be there and they're testing how strong is this Giganotosaurus. And we do know Spisaurus is a villain and people would hate to see it die because of how well known, known it is. But what if the Giga kills Spisaurus in combat just to make people hate the Giga and fear it more? Because, you know, it didn't deserve its death in Dominion, but I feel if it kills the Spisaurus, it's a definitely deserved death. Anyway, that's my theory on how Spisaurus and Giga could fight in chaos theory make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all later bye everyone